Hi everyone, my name is Paul and I'm part of the central Manchester location at Audacious Church, serving on the photography, prayer and helper teams. It's a pleasure to spend some time with you today. And this week we're continuing the Jesus is theme. So I'd like to share with you who Jesus is to me. Jesus is accepting. I remember chatting to a guy in a Christian bookshop. He said he liked books, he liked to look at them, but he couldn't actually read. He couldn't read, but he had faith. Through Jesus, he had a relationship with the living God. He wasn't disqualified. You don't need to be clever to be a Christian and to have faith. On the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit fell on all flesh. No one was excluded. As Jesus was crucified, there was a criminal on his right. He'd probably done some quite bad stuff. The criminal on his right said, Remember me, Lord, when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus replied, Today you will be with me in paradise. Jesus healed the leper. Help, the leper shouted. Actually helps a really good prayer. Help, he shouted, and then Jesus reached out and touched him. Jesus touched him and healed him. People avoided lepers, but not Jesus. He reached out and touched this man. The Samaritan woman went to the well. She had to go at midday. Nobody would be there at that time. Nobody would be there to judge her. Jesus was there one day, not to judge her. She sensed that. But Jesus was there to offer salvation and acceptance. She saw the disciples, she sensed judgment, and she was off. Criminal, outcast, marginalised, Jesus came for each one of them. And Jesus accepted each one of them. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. He knows what we are like. He knows our thoughts. But still, the offer of salvation is there, and God still loves us. The prodigal son asked himself, Will I be accepted by my father? The answer was yes. The father was looking out for his son and waiting for him to return. This is the picture of God waiting for us, welcoming us back to be with him. He runs towards his son to welcome him back and accept him. Come to God with your sin, hurt, troubles, bitterness, rejection, offence, unforgiveness. He accepts you. He'll touch you. He'll help you sort things out. God knows you. God loves you. God accepts you just as you are. In the words of the great hymn, just as I am without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me, and that thou bidst me come to thee. O Lamb of God, I come, I come. Jesus is accepting, accepting. Come to him now, repent and respond to him. Have a wonderful day.